Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Raps Today of Reality. Today is Saturday, happy weekend, we made it. Today is 4th of February 2023 and today's topic is there is help for you. Praise the Lord, there is help for you. So before we start this morning, let's pray together. Father, we thank you, we honor you, we appreciate you for your goodness. Thank you for making this week a successful week for us. Thank you for your help in every area of our life. Thank you for divine health, for by your stripes we are here to work. Thank you for this gathering, we are about to receive your word. Thank you for your word that gave effect in our lives. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once more, welcome. And today's topic is this help for you. And First Chronicles 15 26 says, And it came to pass when God helped the Levite that bear the hack of the covenant of the Lord, that they offer seven bullocks and seven rams. That's First Chronicles 15 26. The Bible tells us how David got some Levites to move the ark of God into a place he had prepared for it in Jerusalem. But something striking that we observe is that the Bible says God helped the Levites that bear the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord. Isn't it amazing? Though the Levites were called to bear the Ark, God helped them to carry out their ministry. God also helped a man named Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah. We all know that story. He had gone to battle against the Syrians in alliance, in alliance with Ahab. The king of Israel, having no idea that Jehoshaphat was in the battle, the king of Syria instructed his commander to go after Ahab, the king of Israel. Don't fight NYS, just go after King Ahab and kill him, he told him. When his men saw Jehoshaphat, they thought he was the king of Israel and cornered him. But the Bible says Jehoshaphat cried out and the Lord helped him. And God moved them to depart from him. Second Chronicles 8, 18, verse 31. The Bible also tells us about a young king, Uzia, who started out as a teenager. He was responsible for several invention and technological transformation of Judea. The Bible specifically says that he was marvelously helped of the Lord until he became strong. Second Chronicles 26, verse 15. Isn't this a more what we have today in the Holy Spirit that lives in us? He is your helper. Is there anything you are trying to achieve or are you experiencing some form of trouble? There is spiritual help available for you. Praise the Lord. The Holy Spirit is in you to help you in ministry, in business, in your finances and relationship. He will move trouble away from you just as he moved Jehoshaphat enemies away. He will give you creative ideas that will make your name spread abroad. You are not disadvantaged in any way. He is. The helper is in you. And that is the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. What more can we say to God than to say thank you for his divine help? Because he gave us the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is your helper, is your intercessor, is your advocate, is your lawyer. Yes, it will advocate to the Father for you. Praise the Lord. And now is your is here to help you, to guide you. If you want to enter into a relationship, ask the Holy Spirit. He will guide you. He will save you from a lot of stress, a lot of tears, and a lot of pain. That is what the Holy Spirit does best. Praise the Lord. So ask him whatever you're going through, whatever, as small as it is, even if you're going for an interview, ask this Holy Spirit for help. He will guide you. He will put utterance in your mouth. Whatever you say, whether you say it wrongly or not, they will favor you because the Holy Spirit has already gone ahead of you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. What a wonderful topic this morning. So before we go, let's say the prayer and confessions together. Dear Holy Spirit, I acknowledge you as my helper. You are always with me and in me. You are my refuge and strength. I am needed to you to be led, guided, strengthened, and taught the things of the kingdom of God. I am rightly positioned in the center of God's perfect way because I am under your influence. And so every day of life, of my life, in Jesus' name, amen. 
Further study, you can look at John 14, verse 16, Romans 8, verse 26. On your Bible reading plan, Matthew 24, verse 36 to 51, and Exodus 28. To your Bible reading plan, Matthew 12, verse 22 to 38, and Genesis 35. So, at a leisure time, you can go through the scriptures and you'll be indeed blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. God bless you. I hope you had a lovely time because I did. And if you're here, you've not given your life to Christ, this is an opportunity. It's not too late for you to do so. All you have to do is repeat the prayer of salvation with me this morning. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have everlasting life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. If you repeat this prayer with me, congratulations to you. You are now a child of God. All you have to do to get to know God is your inheritance in Christ Jesus and bombard yourself with faithful messages such like this. And look for a believing church and worship there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please subscribe to my channel and on your notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be forced to notify. Thank you as you do so. Please share this video. God bless you. So before we go, let's pray. Ah, our eternal Father, King of glory, we thank you. We just want to love you. We just want to say thank you. Thank you because you are the Alpha and Omega. You are the beginning and the end. The God who causes all to become. The, ah, the ever true God. Father, we bow before your throne to say thank you. Thank you for giving us the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is our intercessor. It's our helper. It's our advocate. And Father, we thank you. As, thank you for this weekend. Thank you for all that we needed you have provided. Thank you for giving us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much. You have a fabulous Saturday and a happy weekend to you. Enjoy your weekend. I'll see you on Monday by the grace of God. God bless you. Bye.